As the clay season is coming, I thought I'd go through the difference in clay targets. The majority of clay targets that are used on the competitions are made to ISU standards. Now, that means that they can be used in the Olympic Games and the IWSF World Cups. You have Laporte, which probably is the biggest, you have, which is made in France. You have CCI, which is made in England. They're probably the two ISU well-known clay targets that are built to the ISU standards. Then you have Promatic, um, which are the next, they're not as good as Laporte or CCI, but they're the next to it, basically. And then you've got a lot of overseas cheaper clays. They all say they're made to those ISU standards, but they're not as good as, they all try and copy Laporte and CCI. So you have the ordinary standard, you have the MIDI, and you have the mini. Now the standard is what you will 99% shoot on most clay grounds. And they are made as that size. And most targets will be thrown with that. Then the next size from that is the 90 mil midi. Now, a lot of game shoots, a lot of simulator days use middies because middies tend to throw the nearest to a live quarry bird. So they come off the arm fast and they slow down, but not as much as a standard. And then you have the mini. Now the mini is one of those targets that you will look at a mini and you say, oh my God, that is ridiculously fast because they're small and they look harder than they really are. And the reason why is because they come off the arm really fast and they slow down almost instantly. And that's why, in fact, there is a mini on the shooting channel championships at Oxa Gun Company and it looks miles away, but actually when you hit it, it's like, oh well, well, that's a lot easier. So they're very much, you have to look and take note to where they're landing to actually be able to make sure that you can shoot that target. That is a mini, and that is the three sizes, and you can have them in all different colors. That is the three most common. You then get a rabbit, and a rabbit runs along the ground. A lot of people love rabbits or hate rabbits. There's no happy medium. And the most important thing is every time a rabbit hits the ground, it slows down. And you've got to hold your nerve and shoot its front feet. So that's the rabbit clay. And then you've got the batu. Now the batu, again, a lot of the littler clay grounds don't have them because the traps are quite expensive that you need to let them throw out of. But a batu basically comes off the arm and it comes like that and it curls in the air. And as it curls, that is when you want to shoot it, when it shows you its face. To shoot a batu like that is very, very thin. You're shooting at a thin edge, so it's a really hard target to shoot. So if you look at a batu when you're shooting it, think to yourself, kill point, hold point, pick up point, and think, where does it curl? And that is where. You can put the batu in a lot of the machines. Corsetter can put a batu that way up, which is upside down, or they can put it that way up. So it will alter the way it flights depending which way that clay is turned. And then you also have different colors. Now the different color clays are, again on the Shooting Channel Championships this month, the different color clays are for different color backgrounds. If it's in the light, if it's in the sort of dark and you're throwing it through trees, you tend to have a pink clay or a green clay. Um, so you can see them a lot better. Um, white is kind of a new car color. Or you have orange. Now orange is what most of the trap, all of the trap disciplines will have. And that's because overseas, a lot of where it's really warm, you'll see more orange targets than you will see black targets because the black targets in the heat do tend to melt. In the summer in this country, when we get really hot days, that's why a lot of clay grounds, they have problems because the middles of them melt. So that is why a lot of overseas countries tend to use orange targets more than black targets. That is why you'll see 
a lot of, if, it, if you've got a, a carousel full of black clays, they generally will put orange or white or an, a colored clay on top of them to stop the clays melting in the traps. So that is a basic rule of thumb and that is what you're looking. Please comment below and comment if you think I've missed anything out. There is one other clay called a rocket. Uh, I haven't seen a rocket for years. Comment below, have you seen a rocket? A rocket is a similar sort of target to a rabbit. Um, and then you've also got ZZs. That's coming, that will come in a new, in a different film. But that is generally the majority of clay targets that you will see on your local clay ground, gun club or competition. Comment below, I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think about clay targets. Do you think the MIDI is the hardest? A lot of people tend to think the MIDI is the hardest. Do you think the Mini is the hardest? Let's hear your thoughts. Or do you think the Batu is the hardest? Let's hear your thoughts of what you've shot and where you've, where you've gone. And let's hear what you think. I hope you've enjoyed this programme. Please follow us on Facebook. Please like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us to give you content like this. And join the membership for as little as £2.99 a month and you'll get loads of free content that we will put out for you, the viewer. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.